Hey there, welcome to the Yuxa channel and welcome to this tutorial video for the play-along videos of Un Elefante Se Balanceaba, which is one of the songs that my students sing in my school. I teach at a Spanish immersion school and it's one of the songs that I teach them. So what we're going to do in this video, first of all, we're going to look at the chords you need for soprano concert or tenor G, C, E, A ukulele. Then we'll take a look at the chords you need for baritone D, G, B, E ukulele. And then I'll talk a little bit about strumming that you can do with the song. Now, if you like the chords you see here, you can find the chord chart or tabs at ukestuff.info, which is my blog. There's a page there for chord charts and tabs. Just look for Un Elefante. It should be under U uh, at that point. Also, if you want to support the work on the channel here, there are three things you can do. First of all, you can like this video. Second, you can subscribe to the channel. And third, you can always say thank you for making this content by buying me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ukestuff. I also want to add that I made a version of this song featuring the Aquila Kid strings as well. It's the same chords as GCEA, but it just has the colored strings for people that use those, like you're about to see in this video in just a moment. So let's begin with the chords you need for soprano concert or tenor GCEA ukulele. I'll be using this instrument. This is my flight TUSL-Kids. Uh, this is a long neck soprano travel ukulele. So it has a concert neck, soprano body, a linen top, but everything else is ABS. Actually, these are what my students use at school. It's what my entire district bought for its students to use. And um, without being too secretive about it, I helped outfit this instrument and also helped make the starter guide that comes with it, um, with every one of these. Great little instrument, whether you want the blue one with the kid string. The special thing about these, by the way, beyond just being the flight travel, and having the Aquila strings is that it's also the only flight instrument that comes along with an extra set of strings. So you get two sets, the one that's on them and then an extra set because the argument was schools don't have money to buy strings after they buy ukuleles. So you have a set of ukulele strings to change with or to perhaps put on other instruments that you might already have so you have matching strings. It's a great option and I'm glad that they were able to include that. All right, so let's begin with the chords you need. There are only four chords. The first chord is the C chord, then the G chord, then the F chord, and then the G7 chord. And that's it. Those are the four chords you need. Incidentally, those are the same first four chords that I teach in my own method. I have a whole video method using these play-along videos. If you're interested, you can find that at ukestuff.info as well. Also at buymeacoffee.com slash ukestuff where it's for sale for, I think, $10 or something like that. All right, so now that we've looked at soprano concert or tenor, GCE ukulele, let's look at baritone ukulele. All right, for baritone, I'll be using this instrument. This is my mainland baritone. It has a cedar top and rosewood back and sides. The first chord is a C chord, then the G chord, then the F chord. Now, don't let the F chord freak you out. Put your first finger across strings one and two right above the metal first fret. Pull against the fretboard. Support your ukulele with your strumming arms so that your wrist and fingers are free to strum and pick. Then add your thumb for some light support. That should give you most of the sound you need, then just add two fingers. Now, if it occasionally sounds like this, that's okay. Just adjust, fix it, keep on playing. Don't give up, just keep on playing. Work on that leverage to get most of the sound. Don't overpress, and eventually you'll get it. And guess what? Some days you won't. I will be recording some days and I just don't hit the, you know, that F right off the bat or B flat on soprano concert or tenor ukulele. Same chord shape, by the way, just different tuning. Sometimes I won't get it, and that's okay. You just keep playing, you just keep singing, you just keep having fun with it. Eventually it gets better over time. And then you need the G7 chord. And that's it. Those are the four chords you need to play. Un elefante se balanceaba on baritone D, G, B, E, ukulele. Now, let's talk about strumming. All right, for strumming, first and foremost, understand that there was no ukulele in the original version, so whatever you do here, as long as it makes you happy, sounds good, and fits along with the tempo, it's right. However, that said, if you can't find a strumming pattern you like, here's just one idea for you to use. I hear this throughout a lot of the song. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. like that. 
down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up. And I think because this song is a folk song, I can sing along with it, so I'll just do that a little bit. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña, como veía que resistía fuera de llamar el elefante. Kind of messed that up a little bit, but um, so you just have down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. some extra words in there but it lets you see down down up down down works for almost all the song all right so with those four chords and with that idea of a string pattern down down up down down that's all you need to do to be successful on un elefante se balanceaba and that's on both gcaa and dgbee ukulele all right thanks so much for watching the video i hope you're having a great day and i'll be back soon with some more uke stuff for you